Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this quick debug tutorial, we're gonna discuss an issue that our My Crypto Games app was having. And like we talked about in a previous video on how to use Android Studio's Logcat, the issue that our app was having required us to use this tool. And the problem wasn't one that I personally was having because the app was working just fine on my device. But whenever my brother tried to play the game, it would start up just fine. But after trying to log in and load into the main menu scene, his app would just crash. And if he tried using the app on his wife's phone, the same thing would happen. And I'm thinking that the the issue had to deal with the device model that was being used because my brother's device and his wife's device were the same model whereas mine was different and in looking at the analytics of our app and our playfab backend we can see that some users were able to use our app just fine but we have received comments saying that the app doesn't work for some people now i don't have any footage of receiving this error itself but i was able to copy the errors that we were receiving the first error that we were able to identify through the logcat at the time of termination was this has no registered input channel. The next one was this destroy surface app stop equals false, window remove allowed true, remove on exit true, more about destroyed surfaces, on exit animation done, on animation finished, on animation finished, and then this lambda VFR8 yada yada yada, surface animator, lambda get finished callback, surface animator. And then there was this third message, remote exception occurs on reporting focus change, and a bunch of stuff. Now initially I thought this fatal error was being caused by something dealing with playfab, and specifically at the player's login, because that's when it seemed to fail. Maybe there could have been a problem with the communication of the player to the playfab servers, and retrieve retrieving the player data and how that player data was being received. And so after looking through all my code and double checking everything and, and playing through the app, taking different routes, whether logging in and then logging out and logging back in and playing through different games and then logging out and logging back in to see if there would be any errors that were being thrown, wasn't able to find anything, but while searching through the internet, and checking different forms. There wasn't a whole lot out there about these specific error messages, but my brother did find one form saying that maybe we should update our Unity editor. But that didn't seem like a likely solution because that post was from several years ago and the version that I was currently using and the version that they were talking about were different versions already. But after trying a bunch of different things and not having any success, I gave that a try. I updated our editor to the latest and greatest long-term support editor. And after doing a build and uploading it to our internal track, my brother tested it and he was able to log in without any crashes. Now this error message might not be very common. It might not help very many people, but hopefully this will give you more of an idea of how to use the Android Studio Logcat to debug your apps after they've been built and deployed on an Android device. I'm also going to copy these error messages and put them in the description of this video. So hopefully if anyone ever searches for these specific errors, they'll be directed to this video. Now that's all that we're gonna talk about in this lesson. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.